What is the best upgrade you can make to your bike? Now, some people would say making the transition from flat pedals to clipless. Clipless is a confusing name because you do indeed ride clipped in, but the name comes from a time when toe clips and straps, the visible cage around your foot, were the pedal of choice. These new pedals didn't have a visible clip, so therefore were known as clipless. Yeah, now anyone who rides clipless pedals will tell you they make you more efficient, they make you faster, and they allow you to have more control over your bike. But can you actually put out more power with these pedals on? Will you go faster? Or do they even make any difference whatsoever? Well, that's what we're going to find out. To do so, we're going to tackle one of the most incredible climbs in the world, twice. Maybe not the whole climb though. Once on the flat pedals and once with our normal clipless pedals. It sounds simple, and it would be, were it not for the fact that the full climb is Sacalobra in Mallorca, nine and a half kilometers in length at an average gradient of 7%. So instead of that, we're going to reduce it to just three kilometers near the top. Again, the average gradient is over 7%. If you want to find out what the benefits are supposed to be from riding on clipless pedals, all you need to do is a quick Google, and you'll find that the idea is all about power transfer and efficiency. Because your foot is physically attached to the pedal, you're meant to be more efficient. Yeah, you can also transfer more power because you're able to pull up and push down on the pedal, making your pedal stroke more efficient. But Chris, this all sounds like rubbish because the first one doesn't make any sense, and the second one, is this proven? Yeah, and despite that being true, you would absolutely never catch me riding a road bike in a pair of flat pedals. Yeah, I'd have to wrestle them off you, wouldn't I? Well, my clips would, if I don't drop them first. We're gonna be doing two runs. Our first run's gonna be on clipless pedals with our Physique Carbon Road shoes. Now that should give us a good benchmark. Now our second run will be with trainers and flats. And it's at this point we should point out the obvious difference between the two setups. You see, cycling shoes are really stiff and designed to be mega efficient. But if you're riding on flats, it's highly unlikely you would have already bought yourself a set of cycling shoes. And you therefore would probably have quite a flexible pair of trainers. Yeah, a bit like this actually. These trainers are designed for running and walking and not designed to be putting power through a pedal. Right, let's talk about the tests. To prevent our overly competitive natures coming into play, we're gonna be doing them in a time trial specific fashion. That means we'll only ever be riding one rider at a time. Yeah, but don't worry, we're gonna be doing max efforts and we're not allowed to look at our data. So Chris, take off your Wahoo head unit. In the pocket. Chris and I have just ridden two thirds of the way up this iconic climb at Sacalobra and we're gonna be racing the hardest bit of it all the way up to there. Yep, the bridge at the top, or very close to the top. Now, there's a reason we've chosen only to do 3Ks, is we don't want to do two back-to-back 30-ish -back minute efforts and have the accumulated fatigue of that. That could skew the results somewhat. But also, I think it'd be more interesting to do something that's a little bit of a halfway house between the sprints they did last time and the longer efforts that they did. Are you ready for a max effort? Well, as ready as I'll ever be, James. All right, you're going first. What, what? and have you chasing me up the climb? Yes. Just give me three minutes. <laughs> it's nothing I hate I'll more. Start, I'll start you off. Chris Opie, run number one with clipless pedals. Three, two, one, up, 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 up. Right, Chris should be a little bit ways up now. I'm gonna start off myself. Three, two, one. I'm so budget clip in. Right, clipped in. Let's chase that fat sprinter. That hurt, as you might have expected. It's now time to head down, change the pedals, and go again. Just please, Hank didn't catch me. Run number one done. It's now to change pedals. Woo. Don't really want to put these pedals on my bike. It just seems, I don't know, I mean, what? They're worth less than an inner tube and the bearings don't really turn, so maybe just you could do the test. No, that's not fair. Hey. After all, this is all for science. All right, okay. Right, Chris, how does it feel to be weighing 
trainers on your Pinarello. It's really weird because I don't know. I mean, I don't know where to put my feet. As in, these shoes are definitely not made to ride a bike with. No. Are you ready for this max 3K effort? No, not really. Well, don't worry about that, mate, because here you go. You ready? Three, two, one, and up! Looks slow. Now, the good thing about having flats is I don't have to worry about clipping in. So here goes nothing. Three, two, one, up. Wow. Slow start. Oh, it's harder than I thought. That was tough. How it do was, you feel? It was really weird because every time you go to stand up, you can't really pull up on the pedal in the same way that you normally would. So unnatural, so it's actually it? easier to stay sat down and turn a slightly bigger gear than normal. Right, how are we going to look at these results then? Well, we're going to need a laptop. So we'll do that bit somewhere else and we'll enjoy the rest of our ride for now, I think. We've made it back to GCN HQ and all the results are in. So Chris, are you ready to elaborate? I am. So we chose that three kilometer section at the top of Sacalobra. We'll start with the clipless pedals first. Let's do it. We're used to riding them. James, 367 watts, 78 revs per minute. That's how fast his cadence was. Nine minutes, 17. Not bad. Now, I've been training a little bit. You have. I did manage to roll you here. Yeah, Nine I minutes, that. 12. <laughs> but I did do a lot more watts because I'm a lot heavier than these. So it's 409 watts, but a cadence of 73. I tend to pedal slow going uphill. And yeah. I've noticed you always seem to look like you're in an easier gear, getting a little bit faster. So that was clipless. Obviously, we're trained to ride in that sort of fashion. We know what it's like to be clipped in. The flats is a bit alien, wasn't it? It was a bit. It didn't feel quite the same. Should we go into the results first? Let's do it. Right, 351 watts for you at 70 RPM with a time of 9 minutes 42. Mm. Putting seven seconds into me here. I know, because I did 949, that. 380 <laughs> watts, but my cadence dropped quite a lot. And both of us lost a bit of cadence, but mine dropped more than yours, 62 RPM. So what was the conclusion? I guess we're not losing a huge amount of time, but it's all really on feeling. Isn't yeah, it? exactly. Like you would stand up, you tried to stand up to go out of the corners and accelerate and try and pull on the pedals, but you didn't have that. So the bike felt sort of clumsy underneath you. Now, obviously we're not, not used to riding with that, yeah. with that clips. So that was quite alien to us, as you said before. Yeah. I mean, I, and I rely on the upstroke of the pedal, yeah. especially when I'm climbing. So to have to kind of flip it and rely on the downstroke, I just didn't feel like I could get the, no, nowhere near the amount of power. No, you don't get that initial drag through exactly, the yeah. do you? Like, actually, the power discrepancy, I think, isn't huge. It's it's not even quite 10%. So that's, actually, in fact, it's 5%. So that's really not that bad at all. But it was all about the sensation and the mm. feeling, wasn't it? It just didn't feel like we are riding our bikes anymore. No. But other, other than that, I think, you know, they're not as big time gaps as we thought they were going to be. So if you do have flats at home, and you don't really want to change, then don't feel pressurized to doing so. No, do what's comfortable, I guess. Yes. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed to see us suffering up the Sacalobra climb, then make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And for more content right now, click down there.